Sony's popular XB series of Bluetooth speaker got an upgrade this year. The XB21, XB31 and the XB41. Let's take a look at the cheapest of the three, the XB21. Will it be worth your money? Keeping the tradition of high prices, the XB21 is priced at almost 8000 Indian currency and is made of good quality plastic with the universal choice of 2018 fabric covering the entire speaker. The two lines you see going from the front of the speaker all the way to the side are single colored LED strips, although there is only just two LEDs in the front of the speaker. Do note that based on the speaker color you choose, the LED color will vary. If you want multicolored LEDs, go for the higher models. Now the speaker feels well built and solid but not too heavy for everyday carry. The usual controls are on the top of the speaker with the aux in and charging port at the back. Now next to the ports you can find three buttons, the battery button, WPC and an add button. Pressing the battery button gives you a vocal confirmation of the battery percentage left. The add button is used to add more XB21 speakers and use it as stereo speakers. The WPC or the wireless party chain is used to add more speakers. Now if you didn't notice it yet, yes, the entire XB series is IP67 rated or in simple terms water, dust and shockproof. Oh and being a Sony product, of course you get NFC. Now being an extra base branded product, I really have high expectations for the X21. Let's see how it performs. Check out the card above for a more brief sound test. All those days trying to find a place A place where you only can just be alone, be alone All those nights lying by your side Let me survive, feel it shine under your spotlight So there it is, the Sony XP21 performed as I had imagined, the sound was clear and crisp, the mids and vocals sounded pretty clear. The bass was really superb, living to its extra bass name tag, excellent lows with some nice punchy feeling. The speaker for its size gets pretty loud and has almost no distortion at full volume. Fortunately, the speaker doesn't dance at 100%. The only negative I would say is there is no way to know if you reach the full volume when cheaper speakers have a notification tone when you reach the highest volume. But other than that, I am extremely happy with the performance of the Sony XB21. Now unlike most Bluetooth speakers out there, you can download an app by Sony called the Music Center app to go along with the speaker that gives you more features you can control like different sound modes, LED modes. EQ, connecting more than one XB series speaker and also something called party booster which basically means you can tap on different spots on the speaker while a song is playing and it will make different instrument sounds which can be customized through the app. Now do keep in mind one thing, if you pad the speaker the normal way through the Android settings you won't get much of the features on the app. You have to pad it through the app to get all these features. It's more customization than you can ask for a normal Bluetooth speaker. Definitely check it out for sure, you might find it useful. Now fortunately you do get the typical range of most Bluetooth speaker with some very occasional choppiness. The battery life, well it's the one thing I'm not that impressed with. It lasted for a pretty decent 10 hours at approximately 65% volume and took me around 3 hours and 30 minutes to fully charge from dead. I've seen way better performance from extremely budget speakers. So what's my final verdict? 
The Sony XB21 gets a definite thumbs up from me even though the battery life is just okay. If you have the money to spend on one good base, weather resistance and a good overall sound quality, then go with the XB21 for sure. If you feel like you want a little bit more base and more colorful LEDs, check out the bigger brothers the XB31 or the XB41. Really good alternative to the JBLs out there. The Sony XB21 is definitely extra basic. Hope you guys enjoyed the review and thank you for watching. Check out the link in the description below the like button if you are interested in buying and also while you are there, hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. So have you guys used the previous extra base series of Bluetooth speakers from Sony? Is the new iteration worth it? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Adi and I will see you guys in the next video.